So now we are going to do one more numerical on De Moivre's theorem, where n is given as a positive integer, and we have been given one relation that is one plus x whole raised to n equal to p naught plus p one x plus p two x square till p n x raised to n, and we have to prove these two results. Now, guys, let's start with first result. So in the first result, we want all even terms. And that too with alternate plus minus. And on the right hand side, we have 2 raised to n by 2 cos n pi by 4. Now, if you see the right hand side, here we want cos of n pi by 4. So that polar form itself denotes that here we are going to use the polar form of a complex number. Now, here the value of x is or value of x will be decided by us. Now, if I put any value of x, then this number can be converted into the Cartesian form. So from that, we have to convert it into polar form. Now, one more thing to observe is that, if you see the angle or the amplitude is n pi by four. So it means when we are converting it into polar form, then that n is coming inside and it is written with the angle so it again denotes that here we have to use de moivre theorem because in de moivre theorem we take that power inside the complex number and we multiply that theta with that power so now to achieve this what we will do is we will make one complex number over here such that here we will just get the even terms that is p0, p2, p4 with alternate plus and minus sign. So guys, it's very easy. So if I put some value of x over here, then it is sure that it will add up. So guys, it's very easy. If I put some value of x over here, such that this left hand side becomes a complex number, and if we convert it into a dipolar form, then we will get sine term and cos terms where cos will be the real part and sine will be the imaginary part. So what we have to see is the real terms of this series must be this because real part of this complex number is going to be cos term. So if I want all real terms to be P0, P2, P4, then I will put X as I. So by putting x equal to i, here we will get i square, which is minus 1. So this will become minus p2. p4, x raised to 4, that is i raised to 4 will become 1. So we will get p4 and so on. So here I will say, put x equal to i. So by doing this here, we will get 1 plus i raised to n equal to p naught plus p1 i plus p2 i square plus p3 i cube and so on till p n i raised to n. Now let's take all real terms together. So this will give us p naught i square minus 1 so minus p2 i raised to 4 which is plus 1 so p4 i raised to 4 i will get plus p4 minus so on now let's take imaginary terms together so i common first term is p1 here i cube is minus i so this will become minus p3 and so on so now we got real terms exactly equal to the left hand side of result one now let's solve this left hand side and let's prove that the real part of this number is equal to this so here i'll say for one plus i r is equal to square root of x square plus y square so one square plus one square and that will be square root of two and the theta is 
tan inverse of y by x so which is equal to pi by 4 because y and x both are 1 so I got theta and r so therefore I will say 1 plus i is equal to square root of 2 into cos of pi by 4 plus i sine pi by 4 now we will put this value here in the left hand side or we'll find out the nth power here itself so i'll say by de moivre's theorem we will get this as 1 plus i raised to n equal to so here also I have to find out the nth power so which will be 2 raised to half raised to n that is 2 raised to n by 2 and here we will get cos of n pi by 4 plus i sin n pi by 4. So guys if you see the real part it is 2 raised to n by 2 cos n pi by 4. So if I put this value for 1 plus i raised to n here and if I compare the real parts of both sides then I will get my first result. So therefore I would say p0 minus p2 plus p4 minus so on is equal to 2 raised to n by 2 cos of n pi by 4. So this is my first result. So result number 1. Now let's prove the second result. So in the second result we want all terms which are multiple of 4 and on the right hand side I want two terms. So the question is how to bring the terms which are multiple of 4. So it means we have to remove p1, p2, p3, p5, p6, p7, then p9, p10, p11 and so on. So to remove all odd terms and few even terms because see when we are removing the other term there are certain even terms like p2 p6 then p10 and so on so to remove that what we'll do is in this result or in this given term we will put different values of x and we will create different results over here and then we will do few adjustments to get the answer so let's start so first of all i'll put this x equal to 1. So here I will say put x equal to 1 in given series. So here we will get this given series as 1 plus 1 that is 2 raised to n equal to and here we will get p0 plus p1 plus p2 because x is 1 so 1 then 1 square 1 cube everything is 1 so we will get all terms in this series now i'll call this series as equation number 2 now again i'll put x as negative 1 in the given series so therefore put x equal to negative 1 in given series so now by putting x equal to minus 1 in the given series we will get few terms as negative and those few terms will be the odd terms so this x will be negative 1 so this will become minus p1 for p3 x cube is minus 1 cube so again minus p3 and so on so this will become 1 minus 1 that is 0 so therefore the left hand side is 0 equal to p0 minus p1 plus p2 minus p3 and so on so i'll call this as equation number 3 now guys if you'll see equation number 2 and 3 and if we add it then we can remove the odd term because in equation number 2 all terms are positive and in equation number 3 odd terms are negative so by adding we can eliminate 
the odd term. So here I'll say adding two and three. So left hand side of result two is two raised to n plus zero. We will get two raised to n. And on right hand side, all real. Uh, I mean all even terms. So P naught plus this P naught is two times P naught plus two times P two plus two times P four and so on. Now I'll take two on the left hand side, which will become upon two, and that will become two raised to n minus one. So that is P naught plus P two and so on. Now we'll call this as result number four. So now in this series we got only even terms. So if you see the result number one or equation number one, it was also the series with even terms, but it was with the alternate plus and minus. And here in the equation number four, we got all even terms with all terms positive. So if we add it. Then, if you observe, P two is positive here, P two is negative, so P two, P six, P ten will be eliminated, and by adding the remaining terms, we will get this second result. So here I'll say, therefore, adding the result number one and four. So P naught. And this P naught will be two times the P naught. P two minus P two removed. P four plus P four two times P four plus P eight plus so on equal to. Now let's add other side. That is two raised to n minus one plus this term. That is two raised to n by two cos of n pi by So now, guys, it's just the last step where we'll shift this two to the right hand side, and we will get therefore p naught plus p four plus p eight and so on equal to. So by shifting two here, it will be divided. So two raised to one, and that two raised to one will go in numerator, which will become two raised to n minus two plus. 2 raised to n by 2 minus 1 cos of n pi by 4, and this is what is the second required result. So, guys, I am sure that you understood this video very well, and you can solve the sums similar to this type of question. And if you want to access the more videos on engineering mathematics, then do visit ekira.com where you can get all videos in sequence. and you can enjoy more mathematics anytime from anywhere thank you very much